that today's video is actually sponsored by Autonomous as well as Elgato Gaming. Now, both these companies actually sent me out some products, not really to review, but I did want to show you guys a little bit about them. I'm not going to go like in depth. I just wanted to show you guys how I use them and just like show you how, how dope they are. So Autonomous actually sells a couple different products and most of their products are focused on helping you have better health when you're actually at your desk. Um, so the one that they sent me out was the Smart Desk DIY Kit. Now, basically what that is, is it's a desk attachment that I put right onto my desktop. And what it does is it can go from a really low spot to a really high spot. Now, what this allows me to do is play video games and all that while I'm sitting. And then when I want to get to like editing them and really getting productive, I can go ahead and just press a button on the side of my desk and my desk will go to a standing height so that I can just kind of save my back because when I am actually playing games, I got to lean over a little bit to game. Uh, so just to get that better posture and what's again, if you can afford this, this is a really, really good product because it will save your back over time. Now, when I first actually got this product, it was very easy to set up. I'll show you guys a quick time lapse of how this setup went it only took like 30 minutes maybe to screw it onto my desk it was really quick to like assemble and screw it in uh, and I actually have a really big desk too so the hardest part was taking apart the desk but when as soon as I was like putting this onto my desk it was super quick super simple uh super simple to like set the presets for different heights that I want to have and then yeah as soon as I had it set up I've loved it I can switch back and forth super easily uh, if you do get one of these quick tip is make sure all your wires are long enough to reach between the lowest setting and the highest setting so that you don't have like stuff getting tugged down that's a definitely important thing to do. So the other product they actually sent me was a dual monitor arm. Now, unlucky for me, uh, the main monitor I use doesn't actually fit. So what I just did is I put my main monitor like on my desk uh, and then I hooked up my second monitor just to lift it up a little bit. So I don't like look down when I'm looking back and forth. Uh, and then lucky for me, I was ab actually able to fit my mic right on the other arm that was supposed to connect to my uh, monitor. So it didn't actually go to waste at all. I actually have a really cool setup now with my mic and my monitor. So I'm super happy with it. And I just want to thank Autonomous for sending me out these products. So the other two products I got were the Elgato Game Capture 4K60, as well as the Cam Link, uh, which I'll talk a little bit more about in depth as we go on with the video. So yeah, let's actually get into the room tour and set up video. Take number 468 for this uh, room tour video because everything keeps getting messed up, <laughs> including the audio and the video. So very first thing, we'll go left to right. And basically what I use this for is I put my face cam, which I currently have in my hand. Uh, it'll plug in here. And then this like micro uh, HDMI to HDMI will plug into my computer to send the signal via a cam link, an Elgato cam link. Uh, it'll send the 4K or 1080p signal to my OBS so that I can use it as a face cam. Then just to make sure the uh, camera doesn't turn off like in the middle of a stream, I have this dummy battery pack, which I got on Amazon. And basically what that does is it is a battery, uh, but it's plugged into the wall via this cord down here. Uh, so that the camera can constantly stay on and it'll never like shut off on me basically Then right here. We have a subtle flex with the airpods naturally got to do that in a, a room tour video uh, Then if we go over here, I have a Wacom drawing tablet now what I use this for is Photoshop when I want to do different like uh, Thumbnail work or just graphic stuff. I can go ahead and use that uh, Over here. We got two power banks. We have a anchor and a my charge uh, both of which I think are pretty cheap, like 50 bucks or something, uh, but they hold a ton of power. So I definitely recommend the Anchor one especially. In terms of my headset, we have a HyperX Cloud Core. Uh, I have a couple different HyperX headsets because I am actually sponsored by them because I am on Cloud9. Um, but this is the one I use the most and actually it's the cheapest of the ones that I have. Uh, the reason I use them is just because I had them way before I was on Cloud9. So... I kind of broke them in. I'm the most comfortable with them, and I just know how to use them the best. Uh, it doesn't have many controls on it, which I actually like. I like the simple, uh, simple, simplization. I don't know. I just like the simplicity of it. So that's the headset I actually used for basically all my gaming, all my editing, all that fun stuff. I use the HyperX Cloud Cores. And yet another HyperX product, uh, we have the HyperX RGB Alloy Keyboard, which you can set to any color you want. Currently, I have it on blue, like light blue. Uh, just because that kind of matches the setup color the best uh, but that is the keyboard here's what it sounds like if you guys want to hear it might be kind of faint but here yeah that's what it sounds like it also does like a nice little pulse when i type in terms of my mobile gaming setup i have my ipad pro 10.5 here with this little like uh, lightning to HDMI adapter and then a HDMI cable that plugs into my Elgato 4k 60 and what that does is it just captures the signal and then sends it to my OBS so I can record and stream and then also plugged into that adapter is my charging cable which goes through this hole and then in the back we have this little like uh, power hub I guess you'd call it which has my opolar fan uh, this thing which is plugged into my lights uh, my charger and then 
that's pretty much all that's plugged in the back so this old polar fan was like seven bucks i think on amazon and basically what it does is it just helps cool down my ipad so it doesn't overheat uh because the cooling on like mobile devices is really bad so i would highly recommend getting just a cheapo little fan from amazon not sponsored or anything i would just highly recommend getting a fan kind of like this one and then if you guys are wondering what this is this is like a little placemat that i got from my kitchen and i just use that to make sure my ipad doesn't slide around when i'm playing in terms of my monitor i use a biotech uh, I don't know what the model is, but it's a 1440p 144Hz monitor. And I actually really like this for editing and like stuff like that. But for gaming, uh, 1440p actually is like really hardcore. So I wouldn't recommend buying 1440p. If you could go for 144Hz, I definitely recommend that because it looks way better. Uh, but 1440 like P, I don't really recommend. I don't think it's re like required for gaming. I think 1080p is still really solid. Uh, just because most PCs won't actually be able to run 1440p super well. For the microphone that I have, I have a Blue Yeti. It's a, you guys probably heard about this mic. It's like a hundred bucks. Uh, most streamers have it. It's pretty cheap and works pretty well. Uh, I'm not gonna upgrade for a while just cause I think this works, you know, well enough for me. And yeah. For my other monitor, I have a BenQ 60 Hertz. It's really cheap, found on Amazon for like 80 bucks or something. I, I forgot, it's just a cheapo like little monitor. I just use it for like OBS and Spotify and anything I'm not really working on, just one on the side. That's what I use this monitor for. In terms of my mouse pad, I have a HyperX C91. Uh, and then also if we go over here to my other like just backup desk, I guess, uh, we have another C9 mouse pad. This one is not HyperX. This is just like the basic C9 mouse pad. And then right here we have the Logitech C920. This is what I use for my hand cam. So when they, when I have it plugged into my OBS is kind of what it sees about, just so people can actually see I'm like not cheating or using an emulator. They can actually see I'm using my hands and my iPad and I just have it normally set up like right, right here about pretty close. And then this is just on like a cheap arm I found on Amazon, along with my little rubber chicken that I got in China. <laughs> And then basically the last thing on the desk is the actual desk. Uh, so my dad and I actually made this desk, like custom built it out of wood and then we painted it and then we put this, um, my logo in it by cutting out a poster board and then painting over it and gluing it so that it like is embossed into the desk. It looks really cool. Uh, but if you guys want to see the process on how I made that, it's on my Instagram, like story highlights on at HawksNestYT if you guys want to go see that. Um, and then also probably the last thing in terms of the desk is my Secret Labs gaming chair. But yeah, in terms of my chair, I got the Secret Labs Cloud9 chair. I got the Titan model. And yeah, super comfortable, highly recommend it. It's amazing. It is pretty expensive, but if you can afford it, I definitely recommend it. In terms of stuff unrelated to the desk, I got a Seahawks poster there. Uh, over here, we have my we have my 100K plaque uh, on my Hawksnest channel. So thank you guys for that once again. Uh, another Seahawks poster. So if you guys are wondering why my name is Hawksnest, because I'm a Seahawks fan. Uh, over here, we have two different plastic guns that I got in China. Uh, just got them as kind of like prop decorations. Got them when I was actually visiting the ROS devs. Uh, over here, we have a Cloud9 banner. Pretty simple, just a banner I got hung up. We got my bed with another Seahawks based blanket. Uh, we have a little lamp over there, or light, I guess. Uh, and then right here, we have my Seahawks helmet with a black or I think 40% tint uh, shock visor. It's not signed, I wanna get it signed, but for now it's just in this case. Uh, and then you got a couple different like colognes and hand sanitizer and all that good stuff. And then over here is the door out my room. And then these are the doors to my closet, which I got a bunch of random junk in there. Won't even show you, it's a mess. Uh, and then this leads to under the staircase and like the breaker box and all that other stuff. But that's it for my setup. The very last thing would be the lights. The lights are actually like RGB lighting I got on Amazon. Uh, so if I wanna change the color of it, I can do that very simply. Uh, I can just change it like right on my phone with an app that I have and I can just do different colors I can do it based on music. So if I want to play music, it can like change colors based on that, which is pretty cool uh, A couple different settings, but yeah, so it's just RGB lights pretty cheap uh, Looks pretty cool. You can put different bulbs in your like different sockets so you can actually get different colors uh, So if you want to try to mix them like blue and purple, which I normally do because it just looks cool with my setup uh, That's what I do and yeah but that is it for my setup. Hopefully the video wasn't too shaky. I've shot this video so many times and it's always shaky. So hopefully this isn't too shaky. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And let's see if I can focus on my hand. I'm going to choke this, I think. Oh, there we go. All right, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Uh, subscribe down below if you would like to. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Now, in terms of my iPad and how I capture my mobile gaming, I have a iPad Pro 10.5. 
uh, and that's a lightning to HDMI adapter. And basically what that does is it sends a signal from the iPad of what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing. Uh, it sends it through this HDMI cable, which plugs into my Elgato 4K60, which is amazing, by the way. It's like, it's super expensive. So if you want to get it, I wouldn't recommend getting it for mobile gaming. Uh, but if you do want to get into like really hardcore 4K or like 1440p, 144 Hertz uh, gaming on a PC, I would highly, highly, highly recommend the 4K60. Uh, but if you do want to kind of like cheat the system a little bit and you want to record your iPad, I would highly recommend getting the Cam Link, the Elgato Cam Link 4K or just the normal Cam Link. Because basically I have that hooked up to my camera. Um, but what that can do is if you have your iPad, this adapter, and then that HDMI cable. And sorry, my fo my camera isn't... Also, sorry, my uh, camera isn't out of focus. So I got to take my hand away to focus every once in a while. Uh, but basically what you can do is you can get your iPad, your Lightning to HDMI adapter, and then your HDMI cable and plug that into the cam link, which again is down here. So it would plug into that bad boy and then that plugs right into your PC. And then what you would have is you'd have your game like showing right here. Now currently I think my iPad is dead. Oh no, it's not. Okay, so if you give it a second, let me go ahead and unlock it real quick. There you go, you can actually see the screen of my iPad on my computer. And again, the way that I'm doing that is with the Elgato 4K60. Uh, but if you want a cheaper solution, you can get the Cam Link, which is like 100 bucks, I think, or the Cam Link 4K, which is like $120. It's, it's right around that price range. Uh, but if you do want to buy those, I have a link in the description where you can buy all that fun software. Uh, but if you actually want to get those, you can buy the hardware down in the... If you do want to buy that stuff, though, I have a link in my description to all that hardware. Uh, but again... <clears throat> But yeah, so if you really want to get expensive, you can get the Elgato 4K60, which is this sucker right here. You can barely see the Elgato logo right there. Right there. That's the Elgato 4K60. It's really dark, so you can't see the whole, like, the card. Uh, but yeah, if you want to get into hardcore PC... Yeah, if you want to get into hardcore PC, like, 4K stuff, I would highly recommend getting the Elgato 4K60, which goes into your computer and helps you record high-quality uh, video on console or your PC. Uh, but if you just want to get into mobile stuff, what I would recommend getting is a Cam Link Normal or a Cam Link 4K. And then all you have to do, again, is you just plug in your iPad, your adapter, HDMI, plugs right into the Elgato Cam Link right there. That's in your PC. And then right there, you'll have the video feed right on your OBS. So the way that I actually hear the audio and all that is really complicated. And I made a separate video on that if you guys want to see that. Uh, link will be down below in the description um, but there is easier ways of doing it what you can do is audio monitor the video source so if you want to figure out how to do that with your capture card which again could be the cam link or the elgato 4k or whatever you have uh, you can look up a video on that just on youtube just look up how to monitor your video output source and you'll be set you can hear your game audio your pc audio all that fun stuff uh, but again the way i do it really scuffed i have a video on that if you guys want to go watch that